Video 3 Rotate and Crop Crop Images Crop an image using the Crop Tool. 1. Select the Crop Tool. 2. Optional. Set Resample Options in the Options bar. To crop the image without resampling, default, make sure that the Resolution text box in the Options bar is empty. You can click the Clear button to quickly clear all text boxes. To resample the image during cropping, enter values for the height, width, and resolution in the options bar. The crop tool won't resample the image unless the width and or height and the resolution are provided. If you've entered height and width dimensions and want the values quickly exchanged, click the Swap Height and Width icon. To resample an image based on the dimensions and resolution of another image, open the other image, select the Crop tool, and click Front Image in the Options bar. Then make the image you want to crop active. Resampling while cropping uses the default interpolation method in the General Preferences. 3. Drag over the part of the image you want to keep to create a marquee. The marquee doesn't have to be precise. You can adjust it later. 4. If necessary, adjust the cropping marquee. To move the marquee to another position, place the pointer inside the bounding box and drag. To scale the marquee, drag a handle. To constrain the proportions, hold down Shift as you drag a corner handle. To rotate the marquee, position the pointer outside the bounding box. The pointer turns into a curved arrow, and drag. To move the center point around which the marquee rotates, Drag the circle at the center of the bounding box. Marquee can't be rotated in bitmap mode. 5. Set options to hide or shield the cropped portions. Specify whether you want to use a cropping shield to shade the area of the image that will be deleted or hidden. When shield is selected, you can specify a color and opacity for the cropping shield. When shield is deselected, the area outside the cropping marquee is revealed. Specify whether you want to hide or delete the cropped area. Select Hide to preserve the cropped area in the image file. You can make the hidden area visible by moving the image with the Move tool. Select Delete to discard the cropped area. The Hide option is not available for images that contain only a background layer. If you want to crop a background by hiding, Convert the background to a regular layer first. 6. Do one of the following. To complete the crop, press Enter in Windows or Return in Mac OS. Click the Commit button in the Options bar or double-click inside the cropping marquee. To cancel the cropping operation, press Escape or click the Cancel button in the Options bar. Crop an image using the Crop command. 1. Use a selection tool to select the part of the image you want to keep. 2. Choose Image, Crop. Crop an image using the Trim command. The Trim command crops an image by removing unwanted image data in different ways than the Crop command. You can crop an image by trimming surrounding transparent pixels or background pixels of the color you specify. 1. Choose Image, Trim. 2. In the Trim dialog box, select an option. Transparent pixels to trim away transparency at the edges of the image, leaving the smallest image containing non-transparent pixels. Top left pixel color to remove an area the color of the upper left pixel from the image. Bottom right pixel color to remove an area the color of the lower right pixel from the image. 3. Select one or more areas of the image to trim away. Top, bottom, left, or right. Transform perspective while cropping. The crop tool has an option that lets you transform the perspective in an image. This is very useful when working with images that contain keystone distortion. Keystone distortion occurs when an object is photographed from an angle rather than from a straightened view. 
For example, if you take a picture of a tall building from ground level, the edges of the building appear closer to each other at the top than they do at the bottom. 1. Select the Crop tool and set the Crop mode. 2. Drag the cropping marquee around an object that was rectangular in the original scene, although it doesn't appear rectangular in the image. You'll use the edges of this object to define the perspective in the image. The marquee doesn't have to be precise. You'll adjust it later. 3. Select Perspective in the Options bar and set the other options as desired. 4. Move the corner handles of the cropping marquee to match the object's edges. This defines the perspective in the image, so it's important to precisely match the object's edges. 5. Drag the side handles to extend the cropping bounds while preserving the perspective. Do not move the center point of the cropping marquee. The center point needs to be in its original position in order to perform perspective correction. 6. Do one of the following. Press Enter. Click the Commit button in the Options bar, or double-click inside the cropping marquee. To cancel the operation, press Escape or click the Cancel button in the Options bar. Rotate or flip an entire image. The Image Rotation commands let you rotate or flip an entire image. The commands do not work on individual layers or parts of layers, paths, or selection borders. If you want to rotate a selection or layer, use the Transform or Free Transform commands. Choose Image, Image Rotation, and choose one of the following commands from a submenu. 180 degrees rotates the image by half turn. 90 degrees clockwise rotates the image clockwise by a quarter turn. 90 degrees counterclockwise rotates the image counterclockwise by a quarter turn. Arbitrary rotates the image by the angle you specify. If you choose this option, enter an angle between negative 359.99 or 359.99 in the angle text box. Then click OK.